this your mission? Why, you know, how did you get back on track for you? You keep on saying one word, mission. What is your mission statement to yourself? You don't have one. No. I do. Whenever I get lost on my mission and I get off the journey, I go back to my mission statement on why the fuck am I even doing any of this shit? And you put it in there. So I would advise you to do is you're not just living willy-nilly, which is why we get lost. Don't ever live just to wake up, kiss the wife, kiss the kids, and punch the clock. You gotta have a fucking mission statement on why you're actually really here. Those kids and that family are important. But if you're not your best self, you're giving your family a half-ass person. That's why I tell people, figure yourself out first before you start to fucking go and be attached to a family. So right now, you gotta do it now while you're with the family. I would go home and get a mission statement on uh, where you see yourself one year, two years, three years, four years, 10 years from now, and live by that. And on those days, you don't know why the fuck you're doing it? Bust that open. That's why SEALs, Rangers, everybody's got a fucking creed or a mission statement. Because we all get lost within the war and in the, in the battles, in our mind. So that's what I would do if I was you. Greatness, thank you, sir. It's a starting point for me, for a lot of people, is the finish line. And I didn't see it that way for me. So that's where I started becoming uncommon amongst uncommon people is where I started realizing that you put people on a pedestal that you shouldn't. That you, you gotta get in there yourself and examine people. See what it's really about yourself. So once I got in there and realized, hey, these are just normal people. Yeah, they're a lot better than some. They're able to get through. I know a lot of people who can get through Navy SEAL training. But you know, there's a lot of mystique behind, behind all that stuff. And, I, and as you start to go through and you start to break it open a little bit, you know, a lot of hard guys, but you know, I, I want it more. I want it more. And this this is your strength in certain respects. It's a superpower that you have, but it's also your Achilles heel. Big time. Big time. I talk about it in the book a lot too. Uh, one thing that hurt me a lot was I thought everybody wanted the same thing I wanted. Not everybody wants the same thing you fucking want. Everybody wants to get up at four o'clock in the morning.